Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what is up guys? My name is Azul from Jeva today. I'm going to be uh, showing you how to get your... Uh, to get your 5m server on the server list and make it we're gonna port forward our server and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be making it show up on here there's a lot of problems and I've never really shown you how to do it I like I said if you were port forward it's different for everyone I'll try to show you how I do it with my uh, my router so uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get right into it so um, first I'm gonna do the port forwarding part so to actually port forward it's different for everyone but I'll show you uh, I guess the steps on how to do it. So you're gonna want to open up Command Prompt. Uh, just go to the search bar and open up Command Prompt, and then uh, type in IP config. Now find the uh, Ethernet adapter or whatever adapter you're using, uh, and find whatever's connected, and see which one has a default gateway. And uh, mine is one nine. It's that. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna go to Chrome, make go to new tab, open that up, and uh, should be a web interface for whatever your default gateway is. Now the username and password is not your router. It's it's what your router, uh, it's what your router's. Um, it's it's usually just made for whatever your router is. If you don't know, you have to Google what router you have. So I have an RS one. Uh, you know, in America, that's uh, that's one of them, and. Uh, Mine is admin and password. And it's usually something stupid like that. Uh, you can change it later if you want, but mine's just admin password. So, um, uh, so then what we're gonna want to do is go into uh, just click login, and then let it log in, and then uh, what we're gonna want to do is go to wherever it's like I said, it's different for everyone. But what you're gonna want to do is, is for me, my port forwarding menu is in firewall. And then it's in virtual servers slash ports. Um, usually, it's just in there. And I, you, if you've never been in here, you're not gonna have any. Uh, you might have some. I don't know, but these are all what I use. So what I'm gonna want to do is add, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna be creating, or I'm gonna be opening the port for 5M. So um, 5M. I'm gonna. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine 5M. The import port is going to be uh, I'll show you actually I'm going to go into my server it's whatever you set your servers port as which is uh, I think it's in the server.cfg I don't ever I've never actually needed to change the port I think it's this uh, but it's just 30120 30, 30120 yeah just, uh, I'm just going to paste that in for all four of these you, it's going to be different for you but this is how mine is um, make it uh, make it both and then also uh, put in the private IP address if you don't know it uh, we did it already IP config and uh, look at your IPv4 and whatever you're connected in so mine IPv4 is 192 uh, it's all that and I'm gonna click add virtual server and uh, yeah just uh, it, it's, it might take a little bit so while it does that um, yeah there you go it's gonna it's gonna say that so I'll let that do its thing Okay, so you can see that it's added at my co current computer. So once that's added, I'm going to close that out because I don't think we're going to need it. You go, you're going to want to go to your firewall. It, it some networks let you do it right, uh, or some computers let you just uh, let it broadcast to that port. But sometimes people don't. People have issues. So what you want to do is go to your search bar and go to firewall, and then go to defender, or it's actually the um, Windows Defender firewall with advanced settings. Yeah, this is one, this one. So um, what I do every time, it's kind of a, a lot. Um, what you're gonna want to do is add. Um, I'm gonna add a new rule for. I'll start it inboard or inbound. So I'm gonna type in or I'm gonna go to program. Get the program path. So I'm gonna go to desktop. Uh, where where is my server? There's my server, and then click on fxserver.exe, and I do it, allow connection. I let them do all of it. I'm just gonna call it 5M uh, EXE. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just gonna call it 5M EXE. Now I'm gonna go to Outbound Rules. Click on that again. Go to Program. I'm gonna do the same for Outbound. 
uh, fx server next uh, allow it I think wait did I just yeah you, you want to make sure it's allowed and I'm gonna call it 5m exe uh, let me just make sure I did that right for the other one um, uh, I just have to find it there it is 5m did I allow it yeah okay I thought I accidentally did something else so now what you want to do is go to, uh, create a new rule too and do the port um, I just do UDP um, you can do both I think it's better to do both but I'm gonna do a specific port for uh, 30120 because that's my port uh, in fact I'm just gonna copy it just so in the future it'll be faster allow it allow it name 5m uh, UDP and I'm gonna make a new one for inbound port uh, TCP yeah make sure it's TCP because we just did that before we did UDP before and I'm gonna do allow the connection yeah I'm gonna call it 5M uh, TCP okay so that's both on and now I'm gonna go to outbound and do the same thing port uh, we'll start we'll do UDP port allow it domain 5M UDP that's added. I'm gonna add a new one again. This is our last one. Our TCP. Put that in there. Allow the connection. Domain 5M UDP. Or no, we TCP. Okay, so now we should have three on each side. Uh, yeah, three. I have some more. I think I've done. I've done this before. I think on this computer. But yeah, so there's three there's three now you should be able to start it up I'm gonna start up my 5m server uh, start server and um, now I'm gonna go to my uh, so my IP let me think uh, um, my IP what's my IP, in fact my IP is just that zip.dvns.net uh, 30120 yeah there you go so that's running is actually my IP that's uh, from this computer that's working now for it to show up on the server list um, you, it takes around 30 minutes to like a couple hours for it to show up um, it's not instant so you, you might have to wait uh, let me see what I called the server Java tutorial I don't think it's gonna show up that fast yeah exactly but um yeah okay so um, let's say you're it still doesn't work or it's just, your 5M server is still not showing up even after uh, you've done all this previous steps I'm gonna be showing you how to update your server to the uh, highest build or the latest build so what you want to do is go to this link I'll put this link in the description um, you're gonna want to go to build server windows because I'm using a windows server I'm gonna go to master and then go to the one the, that's most recent so my this one June 14 uh, 13 very uh, you know that's the latest one I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna open up my server folder and uh, let that download my computer's not, uh, not the fastest today yeah there we go uh, I'm gonna open I'm gonna or I'm gonna copy all the contents in the zip folder that I opened or the zip file that was downloaded from here and I'm just gonna paste it right into the server folder um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, I'm gonna let it replace all the files and uh, after that's done, I mean, it's pretty much up up to date now. Uh, now you, all you got to do is make sure uh, you know all your resources are started and whatnot. But yeah, that should work. Um, try to open it up, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah. Bye.